chance. What is chance? In St. Andrews, we believe that no one is here by chance, but instead by a calling that none of us can comprehend. This simple yet powerful message tells us that we were called to be something. And friends, we could be something great. Be the world's catalyst for change. Or we could be something pathetic. Dreams crushed, wasting away. Friends, what separates these two? Is it talent, love, or money? No, rather it is your ability, it is our ability to make a difference, to be the difference. This begs the question, when was the last time you decided to make a difference? And ladies and gentlemen, this is an important question because we can't leave our opportunities in life to chance. To illustrate this idea better, I'll, show, I'll be showing you a game. Alright, so in the 20th century, the Monty Hall problem was one of the most exciting game shows. And how this works is that there are three doors, as shown here. And behind one of them is a car, and goats behind the other two. So, then there'll be a contestant. He'll come up, and he'll have the choice to choose one from the three doors. After making a choice, without revealing any of the doors, I, being the host, will then reveal a door with a goat behind it. Okay. Then the contestant is given another choice. Oh, sorry, my bad. So the contestant first made the choice to choose the middle, uh, to choose the left one. And then I reveal one with the goat, which is on the right. So then now the contestant is given another option. Should he choose to remain with his first option or switch to the other option? Friends, if you were that contestant, would you stay with your original choice or switch? Okay, it was a rhetorical question, but thank you. <laughs> okay, um, wait, but my friends, isn't it a 50 50? Aren't there only two options? Okay, that's right, not two options. Okay, and I'll be explaining why. Okay, when the contestant first makes his choice, which is uh, this one, there's a one third chance of him getting it right. Which means that the two doors over here. <laughs> Which means the two doors over here will have two third chance of containing the car. And so when I reveal this door with the goat behind it, it means that this little door here has two third chance of containing the car, as compared to your first choice. And um, as, as you know, luck has it, you know, into the middle one. All right. So from this, wait, okay. So from this game, we can easily draw the conclusion that switching is always better. But is this true for our lives? And the answer is yes. Because friends, these doors are our lives. We stand to gain much more by being different, by choosing to make the difference. How then can we be the difference? Well, these doors, they represent our lives' opportunities. Some may have more than three doors, some may have less. But what's important is knowing how to get to your doors. And friends, this is a simple two-step process. Passion and hard work. In life, a key motivator is passion. You can have a passion for almost anything. Singing, swimming, studying, soccer, or playing yo-yo, serving the needy. We all have passions. Friends, Friends, passion is important because it gives, it ignites, it ignites our souls for a certain love, for a cause or activity. It gives our life direction. And friends, this is really important because how many of you here know what you want to do with your life? I'm guessing not a lot. And hey, I don't too. At least for now. Passion is unique to every one of you. And I urge every one of you out here to discover your passion today. Lead it by your likes and dislikes. However, one key thing is to not force, your, force upon yourself someone else's passion. Because, uh, just because it seems cooler. Because one, then it wouldn't be your own passion and that defeats the whole purpose of finding your own passion. And two, 
every passion is unique and equally important. The next time you get the thought that your passion is any less important than someone else's, you tell yourself this. It may not be as popular, but it definitely is as important. Don't crush your own dreams, my friend. As you step out of this theatre later today, think about your passions and think about how you can work on them. Friends, there's no need to chide them, there's no need to be kiasu because when you succeed, when you pursue your passions, it will be paid. Indeed, passion is important, but what comes next is equally, if not more, important. Hard work. Hard work refines our passion and brings it to the next level. Nobody got nowhere without hard work. Every outstanding person in history poured in tons of hard work into their passion. Just look at Einstein. He went against the orthodox belief that light travels in a wave. And going against the bedrock of physics doesn't just take a moment's worth of brilliance. It took him years of pondering, months of experimenting, hours of analysis, and countless sleepless nights. Friends, that sounds awfully like JC, but <laughs> tell, me, tell me again, how many of you here are willing to give up so much of your lives to pursue your passion? For me, I am passionate for rugby, science and math. I really want to make them my life's profession. I mean, I'm not, I may not be fantastic at any of them, but I choose to make sure I work hard because I want it. And you know, training, physical conditioning, researching, studying, those are just the bare minimum. Indeed, hard work is key, but it doesn't guarantee us a quick success. What does is our ability to pick ourselves up when we fall and come back stronger, as cliche as that sounded. Persevere, my friends. You know, as you go home, after this whole long TED talk, think about your passion, my friend, and start working on them. You truly reap what you sow. So ladies and gentlemen, happy sowing. I hope that after today, you'll be able to amaze your friends with amazing multi-hop problem. And of course, take home these two fundamental principles in maximizing your opportunities in life. At each step forward brings you closer and closer to your doors. Are you game? Can you hear yourselves knocking on those doors? It's just a little further. Just like how we now know that switching you the highest success rate when, uh, yeah. <laughs> just like how we now know switching you the highest success rate, pursuing our passions and our dreams will yield higher success rates too. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, let's not leave our opportunities to chance. Be the difference. Thank you. God bless. Yeah.